If you're from outside of the Middle East or North Africa region, you've probably never heard of the Arabian tobacco known as Doha, which is one of the most rapidly spreading tobacco products in the Middle East. It originated in northern Iran in the 15th century and was traditionally smoked by Bedouins and sailors in the Arabian Peninsula. Now it is smoked by approximately 16.1% of UAE nationals and according to al Hukini et al, it is the most common tobacco product used after cigarettes. Doha tobacco is not harvested like cigarette tobacco. It is cut and dried in the sun heat for a few weeks without the use of any chemical additives. As a result, this type of tobacco preserves its strength, flavor, color and freshness. This means that Doha has a higher nicotine content compared to normal cigarettes, resulting in a stronger buzz as well as a quicker craving fulfillment. Other benefits include it being cheaper and causing less staining and odor than cigarettes. The Doha tobacco leaves are mixed with bark and then crushed with spices, flowers and herbs, resulting in three different blends, light, medium and strong, which refers to the buzz you get when smoking the tobacco. Doha is often blended with fruits and other flavors to satisfy the taste buds of the smoker. Doha is smoked by placing approximately half a gram in a smoking pipe called a medwach, which produces two or three puffs, which is enough to cause a lightheadedness. On average, it is smoked 12 times a day, resulting in a daily use of around 6 grams. A common misconception of smoking Doha is that it is less harmful than cigarettes because only a small amount is smoked and that it is more natural and it doesn't contain any additives. So let's see what science says about that. Well firstly, Doha is not completely pure as ingredients are added for aroma and taste and according to Dr. Yasser Sadoway, a medical director at Burjil Medical Center, Doha carries the same risk as cigarette smoking. In fact, a study by El Sayed et al found the presence of more than 400 compounds in Doha smoke including several toxic metals such as cobalt, cadmium, chromium and lead in equal or higher amounts than cigarettes. It also identified 22 irritants, 3 known carcinogens and 5 central nervous system depressants. Moreover, even though a small amount of the tobacco is smoked, a study by Mahbub et al found that Doha tobacco contains 171% more nicotine than cigarettes, 218% more nicotine than chewing tobacco, 129% more nicotine than snuff tobacco and 93% more nicotine than electrical cigarettes. Doha tobacco also contained 56% more tar than cigarettes. Therefore, Doha smokers are at a higher risk of nicotine addiction. Also, according to Sheikh et al, the effects of smoking Doha are similar to other forms of tobacco, including an increase in blood pressure, heart rate, and a breathing rate at rest. In addition to this, pipe smoking carries a more risk of developing mouth and lip ulcers, as well as cancer. Despite the growing popularity of Medoha smoking, very little research has been done on its health effects. But looking at the research that has been done, it seems that it may lead to the same or even worse diseases than cigarette smoking. Although at this stage its use is mainly confined to the Middle East, it is important to identify the health effects of smoking Doha and put to rest any myths of its use before it becomes widespread like hookah smoking. If you enjoyed this video, press the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and share this video with family and friends.